Welcome to this week's edition of Tech Tips. This week I'll be going over one of our new features that will be included in our next build, which is due out in a few weeks, and it has to do with shop drawings. As you see on my screen, I have all my panels set up here and I'm ready to produce some shop drawings. So let's go ahead and pick this one here. So traditionally with uh, our engine, we'd come in here, hit shop drawings. I'm gonna choose my 11 by 17, I'm gonna hit generate and it's gonna generate a shop drawing according to the settings I've inputted in my drawing settings. So it's going ahead and uh, creating that. And you'll see down here below cover page, that page will come in. There it is. So let's go ahead and have a look. So there you have it. That's I have that 3D view, uh, my bill of material here, uh, elevation and top view. And here, this bill of material, it's just text and line work. It's not uh, a real Revit schedule. Well, with our new engine now, if I go into my drawings manager, I'm gonna edit, edit that sheet. <clears throat> if I go into that bill of material, we now have the option to convert into a Revit schedule. The only thing that you're going to have to do is convert these values to something smaller because it is in paper space. So you are going to need to do the changes in these cells here. So let me go ahead and change that. I'm going to put uh, one inch here. There we go. Control C. Control V. And in this one here, I'll put two inches. And here as well. And then now I'm gonna hit convert into a Revit schedule. You see everything else gets grayed out here. We'll say okay. We'll save that. Hit close. Let me go back here to my interior walls. <clears throat> Let's take this panel now and generate a shop drawing so we can go ahead and see the difference. Let's go ahead and look at that sheet now. And we see that it is a, indeed a Revit schedule. So if ever you wanted to add some values to this Revit schedule, you can simply double click on it. And now you have the full functionality of a Revit schedule in there. If you wanted to add a parameter, say cost, let's come in here and say cost. I don't have a cost associated to any of these members, but if you did, you can go ahead and use something like cost. There we go. So if you did have values, they'd show up for you there. And again, if you wanted to add um, a total for this, again, full functionality of a Revit schedule is now available to you in the single layer bill of material. So there you have it. Uh, the new feature that is coming up in our new build, do look out for it. It'll be available in the next coming weeks. Thank you for joining me and we'll see you next time on Tech Tips.